All right, so how's it going everybody? And today we're taking a look at the best budget gaming GPU that money can buy right now on Amazon, Newegg or whatever. The brand new GPU that everyone should get if you're building a budget PC, if you're building a high-end gaming PC and you want to wait for GPU prices to be better, this is the one for you. And we're taking a look at the AMD RX 6600. So yeah, let's take a look at it in terms of performance. When you compare it to something like the Nvidia RTX 3060 in a lot of games, you'll find that the benchmarks show you they are pretty much identical GPUs in terms of performance. I mean, the RX 600 even beats the RTX 3060 in some titles. And this goes to show you that there's how good this GPU is. It only got 8 gigs of VRAM, but this is all what you need for 1080p, 1440p gaming, or even 4K, 8 gigs is more than enough. Yeah, while the RTX 3060 doesn't have um, that much performance headroom when you compare it to the 6600, the only thing that it has is basically a really good driver support, which uh, you know is shown in the ray tracing and invent encoding. So yeah, it's better for streaming, of course, when it goes for the 3060. And if you want to play games with ray tracing, focus stuff it's better but other than that the rx 6600 is a very good gpu in my opinion and the other reason why i love the rx 6600 is that it's a pretty power efficient gpu for the performance you're getting it doesn't consume over like 150 ish watts for a very powerful gpu you know and in terms of the temperatures i really love the temperatures of this gpu with undervolting you'll be able to go with gaming results for around 60 to 65 degrees and of course the really good performance and how accessible this gpu is and how you know that it kind of gets compatible with any cpu you throw at it so the cheapest cpu that you can pair this uh, gpu with is like a ryzen 5 4500 or even an i3 100 you get really good performance at 1080p ultra settings with no bottlenecking you know as long as you're playing at ultra settings or you can go as high as an i5 13600k 13700kf where in this case it will be a GPU bottleneck, obviously, but it will be a really good placeholder GPU until you get, you know, something that's, you know, good enough for the CPU that you have. So yeah, that's why I really like the RX 6600. This is the best value for money GPU right now for $250. There is not anything that could compete with it brand new. I mean, name it if you have anything down in the comments. Why I wouldn't go with the 6650 XT or a 6600 XT. Uh, for the simple reason being that, uh, no, basically, uh, this is a better value for money and this is cheaper by like $50, you know? And once these GPUs get back on sale, the RX 6600 will be for around $200 to 10 I mean, yeah, feel free to get a renewed RX 6600 because there is one on Amazon right now for $210 that I'll leave a link to down below if you want a brand new one. Yeah, feel free to do that too. And that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more, visit that kind, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.